What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we got a My Hero Academia drawing. We have Deku, but with his World Heroes Mission costume. So it's like a portrait of him just with like the black and green sort of costume from that new movie. Haven't seen it yet. Um, and I've been looking for it, so it's obviously not online yet. So, um, and I know there's been requests for like Deku in 100% from this movie, but I couldn't find anything. Um, I couldn't find a picture of it even. So they really, they really have it on lockdown. Um, they're not really showing, giving any spoilers or anything like that. So um, I did manage to find this image of him just in the costume. So we'll just do standard portrait, nice and simple. <clears throat> I'm on landscape paper, use a pencil and an eraser, sketch it out, eraser for your mistakes and all that good stuff. Center point of my page is about here. We start with his eyes, right? Center point, approximately here. Up, over to the right. Let's go, let's go. Right, so Deku's eyes, pretty simple. You just do like a big curving C sort of shape, right? Just goes around like this. Do like that, right? And you kind of thicken it up a little bit. Especially the top, right? The top is usually like thicker than the bottom. So we'll just add a bit more to this. Yeah, I'm like the one machine between Sharpies. Some of them are wasted, some of them aren't. shape right and then his iris is kind of like it's not a perfect circle right it's kind of like an oval so you just go around like this this kind of shape right right kind of like that and then his pupil and his yeah just his pupil what else <laughs> His pupil inside an oval sort of shape as well. And you color this black. Right, like so, then we go over and do the other eye. So it starts about here. So you're probably like three quarters of his eye will probably fit. The full eye won't really fit. So it's probably like three quarters of his, the width of his eye goes in between. Because my hair academy, we've got like really big wide eyes so it's probably three quarters fits in here they're not in proportion really and then we just go around again same sort of thing do, 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 do. Roughly that kind of shape, and you thicken up the top. Kind of like that, and then his iris, again, an oval, long circle, inside here, and then his pupil, same sort of thing, long circle, colored in dark. Right, so what we can see of his eyebrows, so just like these sort of ticks just above here. So you just go back this way, maybe thicken up 
this end a little bit right like that you do the same thing on this side just like a tick or check mark going back there maybe thicken up this end slightly some of that will go underneath his hair so you don't kind of see it all and then his nose very simply just this kind of thing and slightly over to the left like that we can't see his mouth right because it's underneath his mask so we can see his freckles though so like four dots each side it's important to draw Deku's freckles Right, so. Right, so that mask, right? So just underneath the freckles here, we have a diagonal line that goes in there. And a diagonal line that goes in there. Okay? And then it's going to go up and around. Like so. And his mouth comes out from there, both sides, right? So just like smiling sort of mouth here. Smiling sort of mouth here. And it might have like a dimple or something in the corners. Like that. Then the side of his face comes up here. The side of his face will come up there. And then we can see his hair. So we meet kind of like yeah like hair spikes then. So we go in and then they come across his eye up here. So he's kind of like real messy hair. There's no sort of pattern really to it. And it's different every time I've drawn him. So the animators change it all the time and stuff. So like this kind of stuff. Down there. To there. Kind of like that, right? And it doesn't have to be exactly like that, but that's what we'll, we'll do for this one. And then this goes sideburn up to there. And then his sideburn on this side, maybe like here. So we can see his ear sticking out from his hair just here. It's kind of cut off by the hair on top. So it just comes down like so. And the other side's similar. So just kind of underneath his eye, maybe in line with his freckles. You know, we just go up to there and up. And in. Right, and then like ear line inside ear line in there like that and the rest of his hair so we got like these small sort of hair spikes coming out here and they're kind of random so they'll this one spike up and then the next one may spike down see like this and we just go out around You're going all the way around, right? So big round head spiking as we go. Right, like that. And I'm not I'm not copying sort of exactly the picture, I'm just sort of you know, I'm not worried too much. This kind of thing. And then this one will come down here. And then we eventually go down and in behind his ear on this side. Right, like so. Do, 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 do. Okay, so the rest of his mask. So we go diagonal here. Then we go down and in into here. Slightly curving to a point in the center. There. And then the center line of his suit goes down that way. Got some details on the inside here. So this mask is kind of slightly different to his normal one. But its general style is mostly the same. So it has, say, some lines coming across here, right? Like that. And then maybe like one coming down the center here there 
and then like air holes four on top and four down here like so and then we just add some shadow inside so like on one side say here so it makes them look kind of more three-dimensional just leaving the white highlight on the left hand side See? So like your light is hitting the edge and then you can shadow inside because it's dark in there. Just leaving a little bit uncolored makes it look like there's depth. It's kind of a good trick. Um, and then this green line steps down a couple of times like that right so across down across down and then it comes to there up the other side and you do the same shape again mirror image so this time we'll go up cross up cross right and this is like a green line that has an edge on this side and then back up to there So, and then he's another shape on the back. Out, down to there. And then the green section there. Then another section back here. And I think a green section on this as well. There somewhere. So his shoulders and shoulder pads, right? So he's got these shoulder pads here, right underneath the mask. Got a little bump on the edge of them. And then they go down. Look like that. And then an edge line to them. Here. And then some buttons holding it on. Same thing on this side. Down. Edge line, buttons, like so. And then his shoulder comes off this way and he's got a silver thing bumping off here. It's like a crest or something, just coming down that way. So you have a little bump, right? So you come down for his shoulder, little bump, and then the crest goes down that way. So, so like the edge of his body, say, just so we can see it there and the line of it there, like his armpits, right? And then these crests, we might as well draw them. So it comes in, down, around to there, and they have an edge line to them. Down around like so. Down there. So, and then a red button there. I wonder what that is. And then some like strapping sort of stuff, lines, like an armpit line. It's like a green line on top of his shoulder here. It's like a more complicated sort of suit than his other one. So, and these crests have letters on them, right? So there's like a W here, I think. Does it say World Heroes Mission? Maybe it does, W-H-A, because this looks like a W. Like this, and I think this becomes H. Looks like. And then My Hero Academia maybe on this side, because there's like an A here. side and then his hood he's got a big hood in this one that comes over his face so it comes down here see 
seems to use the hood more in this movie than the series. Right, and then on his hair, you can color it all green, but he does have black shadow, right? So we just gotta draw those shapes in. So it's like these black shadows. And it can be kind of random, you know, you just, you want to add. This kind of thing, right? Right, so they're like all black inside. So like these are black. I just put some dots just so I don't get confused as to what's black on what screen. But that's it. That's how to draw Deku in his World Heroes mission costume. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.